Have you ever tried using a pair of earphones, an aux cable or a composite video cable with your devices and faced issues such as poor signal quality, dropouts and face cancellation etc? It happens way too often. While the good old 3.5mm connector is possibly one of the most common connector types out there, there are huge differences in the pin configurations and applications. This largely happens as the connector comes in two common variations which are TRS and TRRS. In this video, we are doing a quick primer on the differences between the two connectors and we will also help you avoid purchasing the wrong connector type for your applications. Before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel. Also, click the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's dive in. First, let's look at each connector type individually. TRS stands for Tip, Ring and Sleeve Connector. It is often used for stereo signals as the additional ring gives the two contacts a way to get left and right audio channels. You can also use it for balanced audio where the audio signal is carried from the top while the ground is on the sleeve. TRS configuration has three sections that indicate the three pathways that run through the cable. The sleeve is the ground, the tip is the positive leg and the ring is the negative leg. TRS is largely found in older and legacy devices. On the other hand, TRRS stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve Connector. Compared to the TRS connector, it has an extra R or a ring on it. Hence it is known as TRRS. The left and right channels are covered along with the microphone channel when using a TRRS cable. The connector has four sections that allow devices to have four connections or channels. TRRS connectors are found in newer smartphones, laptops which need to carry microphone signals required for making audio calls. It is important to understand that the difference lies in the pin configuration and wire count. Some manufacturers may use this interchangeably to transmit a variety of signals including audio, video and even trigger based control signals for automation in some devices. Also, TRS and TRRS connectors are commonly found in 3.5mm variants. However, you may also come across similar cables with a quarter inch or a 6.35mm jack connector. This variant is mostly used in professional applications where the signal impedance is usually higher. So, are these two connectors still relevant for AV interfacing in the year 2022? Yes, they are. While being considered as old technology, it is still being used by many especially for music listening over wireless options. Audiophiles and AV professionals still prefer these connectors to mitigate signal fidelity loss associated with wireless technologies. Also, both TRS and TRRS connectors offer wider compatibility with devices and are even considered foolproof by many users. To avoid any mishaps or redundant purchases, it is best to check the specifications or speak to the manufacturer about the compatibility for your requirement. As always, you could reach out to Uberpad's helpful and knowledgeable support team to help you with your audio and video needs. We hope you liked this video on TRS and TRRS type connectors in audio and video interfacing. Which topics would you like us to cover next? Use the comment section to share your thoughts. Thank you for watching.